Hey Dolphins fans, welcome to the latest edition of Fins Talk Today. I'm your host, Bobby Melendez. The latest news coming out of Miami is that the Dolphins are hosting former Los Angeles Charger three-time Pro Bowler edge rusher Melvin Ingram. They're not only just having him come in for a visit, supposedly they're trying to work out a deal to have him be our edge rusher for the upcoming season. If this deal gets done, in my opinion, this would be a huge get for the Dolphins. Not only are you adding a upgrade to an already very good defense, you're adding a veteran presence for young players like Jalen Phillips. Last season, Melvin Ingram did not have a big year. He only played seven games. He had no sacks and very low amount of tackles. However, 2019 had almost 44 total tackles, seven sacks, five passes deflected, and one pick. If he could come, if Miami were to sign him and he would bring that 2019 form to this defense, play like he did in 2019, this defense is which already viewed as a top 10 defense among league of uh, you know experts. In my opinion, it could be a top five defense. I would love this move for the Miami Dolphins. Now it comes to, now we're moving on to this next subject, which is more not, not like a rumor, but something that people started bringing up today, which was uh, Le'Veon Bell potentially being an option for the Dolphins at running back. Obviously, this is not the first time Le'Veon Bell has been brought up for the Dolphins. Last season, he almost signed with Miami after getting released by the New York Jets. He chose the Kansas City Chiefs over Miami, which he called a tough decision because he wanted to win over getting a bigger workload. Now, obviously, at being now a free agent, uh, what brought this all to the head front, which set up the Miami Dolphins Twitterverse in a frenzy, was that he liked the post commenting and commenting on a Dolphins uh, post about their draft class. Whoever's post it was commented about the Dolphins draft class being a splash. He replied back, yes, indeed. Of course, everybody uh, who's seen this had went a little hyped over it and started making a discussion about Le'Veon Bell being an option for the Dolphins. He almost signed with the Dolphins last season, as I brought up. He said the only reason why he did it was he wanted to win. Um, he did, though, during that conversation, which was during the Super Bowl, during the media uh, portion of it, stated that the Dolphins, he loves the coaching staff. He praised the coaching staff, the management, the young players, the young quarterback in Tua. Um, but he just saw the better chance to win was with Patrick Mahomes. No kidding. Um, but he said he would consider Miami down the line. He's a free agent. He knows Miami possibly needs a running back. In my opinion, they don't. I think they're okay. They might have to add another veteran. That's fine. Now, if they could get Le'Veon Bell for uh, a team-friendly deal, I'm all for it. But if it's some kind of crazy amount, he wants some starter minutes and all started money, I'm not in on that. I think there's better options out there, especially for him. If you look at his uh, two years, the one with the Jets, and then, of course, with the Chiefs, between the Jets and the Chiefs, he hasn't been very productive. So, but who knows with a new team, uh, better feel, younger players, how he might play, and with a lighter workload, how he might perform. However, if it's a bigger deal, I'm not for it. Team friendly deal, okay, we'll see. Uh, another report coming out of Miami is that the Dolphins are have big plans for Jalen Waddell. And the, of course, when the first team offense and pot potentially playing him as a returner and a punt returner, a kick returner and a punt returner. I know some people were upset with that by that and it makes it a little cringeworthy. You start to get a little nervous. However, he is a rookie. Our receiving uh, room is pretty loaded right now. Devontae Parker, Albert Wilson, Jakeem Grant, who was, who was shown uh, on Twitter recently catching passes from Tua. You also have... Uh, uh, Preston Williams as well. It's a big wide receiver room, a lot of players. You have to figure out how you're going to use your number one overall pick. Um, so kick returner, punt returner is pretty obvious in my opinion, especially with Gene Keen Grant can't really be trusted when he's dropping a lot of balls, fumbles, etc. So I love it. Uh, you get him as, you get as much experience as possible. Get him on that field. I don't think it's that big a deal. Um, remember, this guy, he did everything. He played punt returner, kick returner, receiver. He did some running back in college uh, and some different plays for Alabama. And don't be surprised if he does it then. Also, Lynn Bowden as well. I can't forget him. Hey, guys, that's all I have right now. Uh, tell me what you think about this below. Tell me what you think about possibly adding Melvin Ingram. If not by the time this video releases, he might be already on the roster. Tell me about what you think at running back. Would you sign Le'Veon Bell? Who would you add on this roster? Or are you okay with Miles Gaskin and company? And Jalen Waddle. I know a lot of people have feelings over him being a returner or a kick returner. I know there's injury possibilities. However, how do you feel about it? If not Jakeem Grant and Jalen Waddle, who would you be who would you make the returner? 
Hey guys, follow me at Bobby Fins Talk on Twitter. Follow the show at Fins Talk on Twitter as well, and Dolphins Talk on Twitter. Also, see DolphinsTalk.com for the latest news, reports, and analysis on the Dolphins. Also, stick to this YouTube channel. Subscribe, like the video if you do. Subscribe to the channel. Big things are coming at DolphinsTalk.com, uh, the YouTube channel. Watch for it here on the channel. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We'll keep you posted on the latest news and reports for the Dolphins. Hey. Ends up.